Hello guys, Lego Master Reviews here, and today I'll be giving you a tour of my Lego room. A lot of you have been wanting to see this video for a while, and to be honest, I actually used to do these types of videos monthly, but it got to a point where I was only changing like one or two things every month, and it just wasn't that interesting to watch. So I stopped doing them, but since then I gained a lot of subscribers, and I know a lot of you have been wanting to see this type of video, so with that out of the way, let's jump right on into this video. First up is this top shelf here, and you can see I got the Daily Bugle as well as the Sanctum Sanctorum, and on these are two sets that I've always had together, and they just look amazing together. Obviously, you know, I've changed up the minifigures a little bit. Like, you got the Scarlet Spider there, as well as Iron Spider. I also got the Zombie Hunter Spider-Man webbing up, Zombie Captain America, and this Iron Spider there and stuff. Like, a custom printed Matt Murdock, and just a lot of other things. But I also added the Spider-Man No Way Home Final Battle set, because I think this is so cool. And there's just a lot of empty space on each side. I was like, you know, there's room for other things there. And I think this set's so cool. And it kind of fits with this whole theme here with, like, the Sanctum and also being a No Way Home. So that's why I put it there. And you can see I got all the minifigures. Um, there and yeah, I'm really happy how this one turned out. I was originally gonna put the um, Avengers Tower next to the Daily Bugle, but it turned out actually when it fit, it'd be hitting the ceiling there. And I really do like the look of this, honestly. So I'm pretty happy how this one turned out, especially with the Noi Home set there. Just below that is this Avatar The Way of Water shelf, and this one really has not changed that much even since those original videos. I just love the look of it, and I'm pretty sure this is every set from that wave too, which I really like. And as you can see, all the mini figures there. Got Spider in there as well as Jake Sully. And I really like this Tolkoon set with Loak there. I think that's very cool. And um, the only thing that has changed since those original videos is this I have them sitting instead of holding on to that little piece there. But other than that, it's basically the same. But I do really like this entire shelf here. Definitely reminds me of the movie, and that's kind of why I like it so much. Just below that, I have this shelf here. And you might have seen my short the other day where I actually had the Dune Ornithopter next to the Dune book. And I really did like the look of that. But to be honest, there's just a lot of empty space that I could have used for other sets, which is what I did. So you can see I have the Shrieking Shack there with all the mini figures as well as the Whomping Willow. You can also see the Battle of Hogwarts set here with Harry fighting Voldemort. I really like those wand pieces. And then I also got Neville Longbottom there. And we actually have the brand new Ornithopter set which is beautiful and you can see all the mini figures there as well as the little mouse. And if you've seen the movie or read the book, you'll understand what that is. So really like this one here and I like kind of like to call it like the bookshelf because obviously you know, Harry Potter is a book series and Dune's a book. So this is kind of like the Lego bookshelf and I really do like the look of this. And this is honestly one of my favorite shelves I have. Just below that I have the Clone Wars slash Bad Batch shelf. You can see you got the big Justifier, so it's a little baby Justifier. And you can also see a bunch of like miscellaneous Clone Wars stuff. So like some Staff Speeders and like a little like cannon back there. So it was like a few Speeders from the Bad Batch and even the um, Speeder from the Clone of Destroyed Battle Pack with those newer style clones. I also got the beautiful ATT here with the Clone Gunner on top. And then right here I actually have the display plaque from the um, UCS vendor. I think that looks really cool there and got some mini figures and like that plaque there. So this is another really cool shelf. Obviously, you know, this thing is kind of random here, but I do like the look of it, especially with Rex and like the um, 20th anniversary printed piece there. So yeah, pretty cool shelf and I'm very happy with how it turned out. And on the very bottom here, we have the Castle Run Millennium Falcon from Solo Star Wars Store. I just love the color scheme of this set. And it's just one of my favorite sets in my collection, honestly. I also have the TIE Interceptor from Mandalorian Season 3. This set's absolutely gorgeous. I love the look of it. And we also have the Speeder from Solo Star Wars Story, which is actually my favorite Speeder Lego's ever made. I think the color schemes are so cool, and I have so much nostalgia for that set, so I had to have it here. And um, yeah, this bottom shelf is pretty simple, but all the sets here are amazing, and I really like it. On this corner shelf here are the Millennium Falcon from the Rise of Skywalker, but I put the original trilogy Han and Chewie in there, because that's just so iconic and just such an iconic look, so I had to have that there. Below that, I have BD-1 from Jedi Fallen Order slash Jedi Survivor. I'm a huge fan of both those games so i had to have this set i think it looks so cool and like on display on like a shelf like this so really like that below that i have the inquisitor transport scythe which is another really awesome set and a really great display and as well it has got a bit dusty unfortunately but it does look really cool after that i have these two atsts here one being from the empire strikes back and the other one being from the mandalorian I originally just had this one here but since this one was kind of just laying around i decided to put them next to each other and just below that is the ship from andor and i can't really remember the name of it off the top of my head but it is a pretty cool one and it looks pretty cool Display. On this top shelf here, you can see I have the uh, Benatar set as well as the Milano here. And when that new Milano comes out, I'll probably put it next to the Benatar. But for now, I really like that original one. You can also see the uh, mining pod from Guardians Galaxy Volume 2. You can kind of tell I'm a fan of Guardians Galaxy. I also have all the original Guardians there um, below the Benatar. And then I have Aerith shown from the Eternals. I'm not a big fan of the Eternals, but I thought the Celestials were pretty cool. And you can see it's holding Cersei there. And you can also see the Hydra Stomper in the back. And then the buildable Ant Man from the um, Civil War Airport battle. And then I have the Infinity Gauntlet, which I think is such a cool display set. Overall, I'm really happy how this top shelf turned out, and when you zoom out, it looks even better. After that is this shelf based off the first Avatar movie, and you can see you got like the helicopter. 
helicopter there as well as Tariq Makto and that jigsaw minifigure is really awesome. Also have these two banshees like a little RDA center back there as well as this awesome mech. You can also see like a few like the creatures and stuff. I also added this little koala there I think that looks really cool. So this one's really awesome. I love how tall it is too. I think it looks really cool. And if you kind of like angle at a different position you can see it almost like pops out like 3D which I really like as well. So this is an awesome shelf and it's one of my favorites. Below that I have the shelf based off the Ahsoka series. You can see a chopper from Pop there as well as the ghost and the e-wing and the phantom 2 is actually here because it wouldn't fit there but i think it does look pretty cool like side by side and obviously you know the e-wing like i said and you can also see captain porter there and the maroc funko pop so that's really cool and i really like this shelf despite how simple it is and kind of smushed in there i think it looks really cool and every time i look at it i get reminded of the ahsoka series below that i have the home alone house here and i really do like the look of this but unfortunately it is kind of smushed so i had to like move the treehouse to the side there and i had to put this like little back section right here but i have the wet bandits breaking in there as well as like kevin's screaming and um yeah this is a really cool set but i am thinking about maybe just putting it away and then bringing it out every christmas season but regardless it is a really awesome set i like how you can like open it up and just look inside the house so this one's really awesome it's one of my favorites in my collection and i think it's just such a cool one below that i have arguably the best lego display set ever being the temple of the golden idol here i think it's such an amazing set and all the play features are just so fun like the kind of like quote there and stuff and just everything about the set so amazing and i did kind of angle it to where like the light would always glow but that's pretty easy to fix and in like the dark it does look pretty cool but when there is light showing it's not as epic so that is something to know and i just yeah i really like the set a lot i think it's such it's a cool and amazing display set and it's one of my favorite sets below that i have my batman shelf here you can kind of see it's like three different generations of batman so we got michael Keane's batman and then christian bell's batman and then most recently robert pattinson's batman and i really like the whole look of this shelf you can see we have the like, bat cave set here with the batmobile and then the bat cycle and the bat symbol there i think that's really awesome and you can also see we got bruce wayne in the corner there and just kind of all the minifigures spread about this here's just like a five dollar poly bag but i think it was one of the best poly bags legos ever made i think that's really awesome and then i also have the miniature tumbler here but i have these minifigures from the very large tumbler um i just don't really have room to display the large tumbler right now so i just have this miniature one but i think it does look really cool and this is just such an awesome set the minifigures also look really cool and honestly you know i got scarecrow from the miniature tumbler and all the minifigures look great there so really happy how this shelf turned out and i just love kind of like getting a reminder of all the different generations of it. and on the very bottom here i have like the sitcom sets here as you can see we have the central perk friends set as well as the seinfeld set there i love both those shows and i think these are both as great display sets and i love how they just fit so like great together so really like this bottom shelf here there's really not much else to say but i do think they look great on this top shelf here you can see i have the disney 100 camera as well as the minifigures included in that set then i have the infinity war hulk buster and the iron monger from the first iron movie as well as an iron man minifigure there i know that's kind of random but i do like how it looks down here is one of my favorite shelves that have the um, mando helmet as well as the global grogu next to the crab droid i guess the spider tank i don't really know what it's called but it does look pretty cool there i like the look of that expression like that angle um and then down here i have the captain rex helmet which is one of my favorite helmets as well as the 332nd battle pack the bad bad shuttle and the um micro fighter slave which is really cool then i have the um, mandalorian starfighter down there which is super awesome then way down there you can see the optimus prime buildable figure i really do want to like put that one somewhere else because it's such a cool set but for now that's where i have it but one day i'm going to have that much more like on a cooler display with more light but for now it's just down there but yeah really like this corner shelf especially now on the very top of this shelf here you can see the bowie from guardians of the galaxy volume 3 as well as all those mini figures from those sets you also have the guardians of the galaxy hq i love that sticker there um and then you can see the leviathan from the avengers tower i couldn't fit it between grand gods and the avengers tower so it's kind of just up here but i think it does look pretty cool on its own especially like thor fighting it and then we have the spider-man no way home sandman battle and um i don't really like the look of it with the other no way home setting it's just a little too much happening plus i don't really know what i would do with this like stand here so have it on its own i think it does look pretty cool in between the two sets then we have baby rocket ship here i kind of just have it sitting here and it does go great with the other um guardian set there so that's why i have it here then we also have the quinj i think this is an absolutely gorgeous looking set i think it looks so so cool here so that's why I have it here, and I love how they both come as stands, so you can kind of like raise them above, and I really hope that the Milano coming out later this year has that as well. So this top shelf is very cool, and I think both those sets kind of like on those stands look super awesome as well. After that, I have basically the centerpiece of my collection being the Avengers Tower and the Gringotts Wizarding Bank here. It is absolutely beautiful. I, think, I know they have like nothing to do with each other, but I don't know, something about it just looks so cool. They're just so massive and tall, and I just, I love the look of it. You can see we have the dragon there with Ron, Harry, and Hermione as well as just the actual bank itself. And below I got Hagrid and um, Little Harry kind of like riding the card system as well as those printed galleons included. Um, I also got the Stitch Funko Pop here, cause no, why not? Um, and then you can see we got Hawkeye there and like you can see 
Captain America fighting a Jatari there, as well as Hulk jumping um, down from the tower and this custom printed homemade Spider-Man. Um, you can also see War Machine and like Hawkeye jumping from the tower as well as Iron Man there. So all these sets are just so cool. I think both of them look amazing together. And again, I know they have nothing to do with one another, but I just love the look of it so much. After that, I have the Stranger Things set here. I love Stranger Things and I think this is an amazing display set. Love all the minifigures including that. I have a bunch of the Funko Pops too. We got Steve there and then Joyce, Dustin, Steve again, and then we also have Hopper there. I also have the minifigures on display in that little plaque included. Then I have the um, uh, Star Wars diorama, the trash compactor here. Um, I know a lot of people don't like this set, but I actually think it's a really cool display piece. I love all the minifigures and I kind of like smush the walls here. And then I also have this like Sonic Eggman battle going on in the back. It's kind of random, but I do like Sonic a lot. I thought that was a really cool set and kind of have like both the minifigures like climbing on there. So this one is kind of random and it was like a bunch of different franchises, but the Stranger Things set is absolutely beautiful. I think this one is a pretty cool diorama. After that, I have the Office set here and I just love the Office show so much. And this is such a cool set. Um, and then we have the Indiana Jones Escape from the Lost Tomb set, which is also so cool. And I love the Indie minifigure, including to the Ark of the Covenant back there, as well as that awesome Bionicle mask. And like, the Star Wars reference, I think that's really cool. And then I have the um, Speed Champions Bond car, and I really like that. I'm a huge fan of the James Bond movies, especially the Daniel Craig ones, so had to have that there. I know these sets have like nothing to do with each other, but they're like three of some of my favorite franchises, which is why I kind of like them all bunched up. At the very bottom here, I have this like classic like medieval gift with purchase here. I think that looks pretty cool, as well as this really awesome Jurassic Park display. I just love this one so much, especially with like Alan Grant there and the T-Rex, and like the quotes like really iconic too. So this entire like di diorama is super Super cool and this gift of purchase is also pretty cool to put on display. Then here you can see I have this really cool digital clock here with some really awesome animations. Now obviously you know the time is not displayed right now but yeah you can see there's just some really cool ones you can put in there and it's super customizable. You can also see this set from Lightyear. I'm not a big fan of the movie Lightyear but I think this is such a cool like display set. Then I got this Funko Pop of Aquaman riding Storm and then I also have a Funko Pop of the last drone in there. And then you can also see the 20th anniversary Slave 1. I think that's a really awesome set as well. And I also have the display plaque from the UCS Razor Crest, which is my favorite set of all time. So I had to represent it here. I think that looks really awesome. And then just below that, I actually have some books. And you can see Yoda's um, holding them up as well as you can see like the Dune book back there. So I really like this shelf a lot, especially like the digital clock. I also forgot to mention that I had this really awesome John Wick U2s here. I think that is super awesome. I'm a massive fan of all four John Wick movies, so I had to have Then on this corner shelf here, you can see a bunch of Funko Pops from Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3. Then you can also see a Ravenger Thor there, as well as the Groot from the Iron Groot shell. You can also see a Rocket Funko Pop from Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. Then I have two Marvel Legends from Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3. And you can also see one from the first movie there, which is really awesome. Um, below that, I have a bunch of Funko Pops from Spider-Man No Way Home, which all look really, really awesome. I especially love this. Andrew Garfield one and then um, down here you can see this um really cool kind of like kind of like Mandalorian shelf with like all the Star Starfighters you can see like the very like miniature and one Starfighter then the Microfire then the play set here you can also see two um Funko Paws being Grogu and Mando for the Book of Boba Fett um and then going down from there you can see a bunch of my Black Series figures you can see some from like Andor and Ahsoka and just etc so all those are really really cool and at the very bottom here you can see um, the Up House as well as the Winnie the Pooh set, which both look really cool together. And then um, on the wall here, you can actually see I have this really cool Star Lord Funko Pop next to like a mixtape there, as well as the Batwing hanging on the wall and even a um, Symbiote Spider Man one. So all these look really cool. And I really like the core. That's gonna do it for my Lego room tour. Please let me know in the comments down below which shelf I showed you is your favorite. Um, I honestly wasn't like showing my entire collection here because I just have so many that aren't on display, but these are some of my favorites and some of the shelves I have on display. So again, let me know which one's your favorite. And thanks so much for taking the time of day to watch this video. I truly do appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed this video and have an incredible day. Thank you.